happening the hood. Hello everybody, good day to you. Welcome back, glad you guys are here. Uh, this is kind of like a two type of, or a two subject video, there we go. First subject is the shiny new paint job on the tow truck. I guess we'll touch in on that first since we opened up with it. It has been painted. It's no longer a uh, baboon derriere colored red. I mean, there's still some remnants of the red, but it has been painted the same paint code as my daily driver, 2007 Chevrolet Silver Uredo. Uh, the thing's not done yet. We've got all the stuff stripped off of it. All the uh, molding and weather strip is still removed. Door handles are removed, but it is, uh, it's nice and shiny now. And the paint looks good. And the, uh, the cracks and damage from the accident have been repaired. This thing right here has been repaired. And it's uh, again, it's all been repainted. So that's, that's looking much more better than what it did before. I need to open the hood up and I'm gonna paint that AC condenser black because it still has red, red overspray from when they sprayed sprayed it red whenever uh whenever the person before me had owned it they painted it that uh that horrendously bright color which i didn't really like so it's been repainted um it, the paint's done but uh, like i said the other stuff is not done so this is this is one of my long-term side projects uh the other topic of this video is the brutality that i have had to suffer reading the comment section regarding the installation of uh, of this post over here like it was, it was horrible. You guys like, you, you tore us apart. You, you told me the beam's gonna knock the building down and it was unsafe and the safety crocs weren't good enough and my chainsaw chain blade wasn't sharp enough and we shouldn't have used the forklift. I mean, I don't even know. Like I'm tempted to take that video down. You guys killed me on that one. And the worst part is, is I've got to do it a second time over there. So we're gonna do a whole nother video of doing the exact same thing on this post as what we did on that post over there. But um, I, I don't know, maybe I'm a glutton for punishment and I'm just, I'm asking for it. But yeah, keep bringing on the pain because you guys were extra creative with the insults this time, which I suppose I could appreciate. Um, nobody's going to break into the shop. We do have a plywood wall here that's uh, temporary until the garage door comes up. I've been taking it down every day for airflow because it's becoming like remarkably hot inside of here with only just the one door and, you know, without my little vent fan going on in there. So it's... Yeah, it's a little unpleasant, so I'm, I'm itching to get that uh, that beam in and that door installed. Now, I'm thinking by the end of the month, end of this month is when it should be done. Actually, it has to be done by the end of the month because the 30th is when the garage door guys are coming to install the door. Uh, what they're going to do is they're going to bolt the door on like right about here on these posts. is going to be the one here and the one here, and then they're going to secure some of the door to that piece of Z channel up there which again is secured from the top with two, uh, two 10 inch lag bolts uh, coming through the top, from the top of the, uh, the metal beam into the wood beam. Uh, it's very strong, it's not going anywhere. That's definitely not gonna go anywhere. And with those two lag bolts coming down vertically, that thing is pretty much locked into position. This beam right here is bolted on to the structural beam of the building. You can see it's got these little brackets right here that bolt it all, bolt it all together. So that thing cannot go anywhere. Uh, once the door is in, I can come in with a saw and we can chop out this section of all of this uh, this metal right here. And then we'll have a fully functional roll up 12 foot tall by 14 foot wide garage door. But seriously, since we did receive like some serious thrashing, uh, I do want to let you guys know that Cliff and I were not complete idiots, just partial idiots. And we do know kind of how to do things without getting dead or massively injured or maimed or all of the above. Uh, I know it looked kind of sketchy and I know we were laughing at stuff and you know, there's a billion different ways to do things and that's just the way that we had to do what we're doing here. I mean, it, it is what it is. I, I feel no shame. So again, you know, bring it on if you want to, uh, but uh, that's how it went down. And, and you know what, when I do the second beam, we're gonna make another video about that. It's gonna be the same way. So just to touch all bases, everybody's good. We're all safe, nobody's hurt. It was a lot more work than what it looked like on the video. Yes, we needed a forklift to lift that beam up. No, two people cannot pick up that giant piece of wood by themselves. I mean, perhaps they can, but I'm not gonna do it because that'll just make me extra tired. And I'm still tired from when we tore the wall down like last week. So I'm at a, I'm at a rest deficit over the physical labor. So when I can use a forklift, I'm gonna use a forklift because we have one and that's just, that's just how it is. So thank you for the brutal shredding. Thanks for noticing the tow truck. Glad you guys like the paint job. I, I'm stoked about it. I like it. Uh, this thing still has a lot more work and then, then it'll look pretty at least, but uh, it's coming together. Again, you know, it's one of my projects. Um, I'm trying to get this lift installed at some point and I'd like to get that done before 
the door is done because then I can sort of arrange all the tools and equipment in here in a more permanent fashion. Cause right now it's just, it's musical equipment. We just keep moving stuff around in like a giant circle and it's kind of getting annoying. But I figure once I get that lift installed, I can start parking stuff in it's more permanent home. Um, while we're here, I guess I'll touch base on this horrendous wiring job that is not my doing, but I am fixing it. Uh, we're ultimately gonna be deleting this box. Uh, it serves right now as a junction box. It used to be live, but then this one got installed over here. Um, this one is live, but all the breakers are out of it because all the circuits that were here were the circuits that were inside of this section of, this, uh, of the building that they were horrible also, by the way. No grounds, they were tying in hot wires with other hot wires, it, it was bad. So all those circuits got removed, they've all been deleted, all this stuff's going away. And then whenever we get around to it, we're gonna put in a proper junction block here, or I'm just gonna take all these wires uh, that go over to the panel all the way across the building over there to the corner, and I'll just move this piece of conduit over and run it into this box and just delete this box entirely. Haven't decided yet, but ultimately this is getting cleaned up and we are undoing this mess because it is a, it's a horrible mess. I didn't do it. I didn't put that there. I have nothing to do with what, what that is, but I am in a position to, to undo that because, well, I know how to do those kinds of things. So that's what we're going to do later on in the future. We're not making videos about it because it's just electrical work and it's not really my forte. Plus, uh, I, I get my friends to help me with stuff like that. Kind of like stuff like this and stuff like that and stuff like that and, and stuff like that over there too. That's what the network is for. Anyway, I'm babbling on some nonsensical rambling nonsense. So uh, thanks for watching this short video. I'm gonna go ahead and close this one out. I've got some other work to do. I just wanted to kind of touch base on that situation over there and let you guys know that everything's okay. And, uh, and excessive re is not exactly needed. Uh, I appreciate it though, because it's, it's great entertainment. And uh, uh, we had a lot of fun perusing through those comments, especially the ones about the safety Crocs. Not my Crocs, they were Cl Cl uh, Cliff's Crocs. I've got Skechers. But yeah, we enjoyed the, 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 the reaming that we got about the Crocs and the forklift and the tools and the saws and the chainsaw and, and everything else. You, you guys are brutal, I'll tell you that. So thanks for watching. See you guys later. Have a great day in a transmission.